really loves full day kindergarten almost more than her parents do. She attends J.F. Carmichael School in Waterloo, one of a number of schools in Ontario that have adopted the comprehensive seamless day program recommended in the report entitled With Our Best Future in Mind. These family-friendly schools provide a full, seamless day of activities and learning for kindergarten and school-aged children. Because the kindergarten years are a special phase of children's development, classes are staffed by educator teams with specialized knowledge of early learning and child development. The seamless day program works like this. Children arrive between 7 and 9 a.m. and go home between 3 and 6 p.m. A team of two early childhood educators and a teacher cover the day. One early childhood educator greets children and families starting at 7 a.m. and stays until 2 p.m. The second early childhood educator joins the class at 11 a.m. and remains to close the program at 6 p.m. The teacher's time in the classroom begins around 9 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m., overlapping with both early childhood educators. This allows the full team to plan the program and discuss the progress of individual children. The team approach means children spend their day with the same caring adults in a consistent, play-based learning environment. Parents also receive information and updates on their child's whole day. Parents and educators agree. With more time for play-based learning, the children are learning more and are feeling less stressed. Parents also reap the benefits of the seamless day. We put them into the public school so that we could have the extended day. And we haven't looked back. That was a great decision. It's high quality care for him at the end of the day. I like that it's in the same building. He, he isn't shuffled to another location. Um, it's open until 6, which works with our schedule. It's great. We're really happy with it. Mangesh Vinkar moved to the school's catchment area to have the seamless day program for his daughter Zuili. It has really worked very good for, for my daughter Zuili. Uh, she en enjoys a lot. In fact, she doesn't want to go home in the evening. Well, one thing is the extended play and how he interacts with the other children. I think that it's uh, helped him socially uh, incredibly. I often find when children are transitioning from one program to another, it can really bring about a lot of difficult behaviours. So it's really nice to be able to stay in one place where the children do feel comfortable already and they're comfortable with the materials and it just doesn't have that interruption into their day. Too many transitions will cause anxiety in a child and then it's more difficult for them to focus on anything that they're doing. So minimizing the number of transitions is very important. I think this program had an impact on my relationship with parents in that I know their child so well. A few parents came to me after the report card went out that said, wow, you really know my child and their interests. My interaction with the staff um, of the program has been great. Um, I feel like I can talk to them about anything. They always offer information about how Lucy's day was or if anything happened, any concerns at all. Parents want the full day kindergarten to be in their school. They want it now, not, not tomorrow necessarily. And they really value that seamless transition that their children experience. I think that finally we are starting to get it right about understanding about what young children need in order to be successful. Being able to work with an ECE teacher is one of the most amazing things that has ever happened in my career because of their ideas and their expertise in knowing how to engage kids in that play. Our early childhood educators are our own staff. They're part of the school staff. They get to know the families in really deep ways and they create the connections between the core day and the extended day. The seamless day is not taxing the school's resources. It is making better use of what the school already has. We have the facility, we have the space, we're making use of existing space. All of those things I think make it a more viable model and make it a model that makes it more accessible for more families more often. So we have some schools where there are waiting lists of over 120 parents who can't get into the existing third party programs because they are licensed for only 30 or 40 kids. When we go into that school, we can meet that demand, all 120 parents, because we have five or six or seven kindergarten rooms we can use. And we can just hire the ECE staff very quickly, 
to, to meet the demand in a program. So there are real advantages to us offering the program that result in better service for parents. Parents and educators are happily discovering that the children's literacy and social development have been greatly advanced by the seamless day. I don't think that the learning stops at the end of the school day. I think they continue on and, and you know, use the same philosophies. I mean, I've definitely seen vast improvements in her level of reading, writing. She's, you know, even interested in math. We have a benchmark for reading in our board and our students in kindergarten used to be about 26% would reach the benchmark. This year we're going to be at 67 to 70% of our students reading at or well beyond the benchmark that we expect. They see the room, they see a fork. And the wonderful thing about that is that the children, because of the full day, still have way more opportunity, much more opportunity than they used to, to play. The cost for parents is comparable to childcare programs in the community. Subsidies are available for those families who qualify. The fact that staff knows and understands each child better thanks to the seamless day means that special needs are recognized early and acted upon. Number one, we're getting at children when their brains are still in the early developmental stages. And there's tons of research out there uh, that talks about, you know, the way the brain is, is forming at that young age and the impact that early learning has on brain development and the future that that uh, brain development has in terms of the child's eventual outcome. So I think by having access, by being able to deliver a comprehensive program that's consistent from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., that's working with the same adults, that's creating that environment of care around those children, I think that's really in the end what's going to make the greatest difference. And of course, it also gives us a sense of where the needs are for children too at a pretty young age. So if we're seeing children who are coming to us and they're having some difficulties, it gives us an opportunity to do an early identification and start to you know, provide those interventions much, much at a much younger age. The seamless day certainly has implications for administrators. The Waterloo Region District School Board created a new position to coordinate the program in its schools. The school board embraces this because you have a sense that it works for kids. And ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. We are here for the kids and the families. Because of the way it's staffed, it honestly hasn't added a lot to my job. I would um, certainly say to other principals that although it's a, it's a fear that you have, and it certainly I think is across the province, it is unfounded. It certainly has been in my experience unfounded. One of the strategies that has ensured the success for our full day and extended day program is that our board of trustees have fully embraced this direction. And they've embraced it, I believe, because our staff has kept trustees involved in every step of the way. When you talk to parents in this community, they think of this school as their school. They own it, they paid for it. You know, there's definitely a connection there that sort of faltered, I think, over the years. So what the full day kindergarten and the extended day programming has the potential to do is to open the school to the community more broadly, which in turn has a, a positive effect on the way people feel about public education. Down the road, it makes a stronger case for continued investment in public education because there's a shared ownership for it. It's so worth it. I mean, when you think about the long-term impact of education on, on children and youth, and I mean, you see that in so many different forms. When you look at mental health studies, when you look at kids at risk, when you look at, um, you know, child and youth and substance abuse, all those issues that are, you know, tend to be tr troublesome for us, the key comes down to early intervention and early access to good child care programming. Now, I don't want to suggest for a minute that there aren't a lot of great third-party providers out there because there are but the big advantage that we have is that parents can bring them to our schools our schools are in every community so it's not just in some neighborhoods but not in others we have the potential to offer it in every neighborhood and make it accessible to everyone and I think when you think about it from that accessibility point of view and the potential long-term implications of early intervention that I think this provides, I think it has, it, it's, it's going to be altering for our society. 
To me, this is almost the single most important thing we have ever done to improve student outcomes, and I fundamentally believe that. For more information on family-friendly, seamless day schools, see our website.